Oh, he's huge. 30 plus inch fish. Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. So today me and Chris are out here and we're at the top of the tide. It is the heat of the day. So that is something that's working against us. And it seems like that's been the case lately with these tides. But um, we're actually gonna be chunking some redfish. I've been getting quite a few um, questions on my Instagram and Facebook. You guys are DMing me. And a lot of you guys are asking about chunk bait. So we caught caught three redfish or three ladyfish out there on the grass flat. I'm gonna chunk them up. I'm gonna show you how I do it. I usually like this technique like on the dog days of the summer when it's super hot and the water temperature is boiling, the oxygen levels are low. Fish get lethargic, they don't wanna chase. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I prepare them and show you my technique. So let's do it. Oh, big old trout here guys. Trying to get these ladyfish, and I'm struggling to find a ladyfish today. This is not a baby trout by any means. All right, let him go, let him grow. That is the targeted species. Yep. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, they're out here. little guy oh there he is all right perfect one more we're in business he got my tail on that one though lady fish don't care guys watch this There he is. Oh no. Got him. Wow, he threw my hole down south off. All right guys, first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and chop this fish's head off. Helps to have a good sharp bait knife. I'm just gonna chunk that out there. I use the, the head as a uh, chum and then what you want is just a nice little square chunk and that's typically I love the stomach part because obviously it has the entrails the blood and the organs and that really helps and we'll just go ahead and chunk grab another piece and you want to keep your ladyfish guys in either a bucket of water or the live well or something like that try to keep them fresh you don't want them all dried out. Uh, they don't work nearly as well. You want to keep them nice and oily, keep that scent. I'm going to toss this back in my bucket with my water. And these are the two pieces that I'm going to, or I got, I cut Chris a piece. But now I'm going to show you how I hook it. A 1 a 2 0 or a 3 0 hook is usually what I'm going to use. 1 0 is usually what I use for live baiting, like hooking pilchards in the nose. So I like to hook them right here in the stomach cavity. And just make sure you don't have any scales on the barb. That's important. But it should look just like this. This is going to cast like a dream. Now you're just going to sling this up underneath the mangrove trees and let it sit. The pinfish are going to peck at it, draw the attention of the redfish, and hopefully you get a slob. Let's go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pitch this right up in to some trees. It's actually a decent cast, but I'm gonna get up there a little further. All right, so now you let it sink. Tighten down your drag a little bit. It's what I consider combat fishing. Uh, if they come and grab it, they're gonna try to take you right back up in the trees. 
and now we wait you'll feel a peck 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 and you'll feel a thump and it'll be on so this is kind of a lazy man's way of fishing i mean if you just want to relax drink some beers this could be the way to do it all right guys i am hooked up oh no this is a big fish Guys, this is not a little one. You're definitely gonna need the camera, Chris. Oh! You ain't gonna believe it. He broke the hook. He, I got the leader, he took the hook. I've never had that happen on a redfish, never. 20 pound sea are the same one I just fought 120 pound tarpon for 40 minutes with. Hey guys, that is guys right he slant, dude, that was a 35 inch fish. My, I don't think you understand my drag. Yes, guys, the drag is tight, but it's no different than what I always do. Look at this. This thing is so frailed up. It looks like it was a snook, but I clearly seen it. Oh, my. That would have been a pumpkin. No, that was the biggest redfish I've hooked in a long time. Gosh. I got my bait bag. Guys, I just... That's a snook. Oh, my God. This guy's all up on us. No, the last one was definitely a redfish. I seen it. All right, guys. Got a good snook on right now. On the cut lady fish. Oh wow. He's got me all under the boat. He is wanting to keep going into my drive. Nice. Pull, 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 pull. Back pedal, back pedal. Back pedal. Chris is on, guys, on the ladyfish. <laughs> I'm getting it all. I'm getting it all. <laughs> Don't you lose that. <laughs> Chris is. Chris is on. Red or snook? I don't know. Looks like a snook. I got me a, a nice snook over here, guys. Look at that beauty. All right. Is it? Watch out for that. Is he on the drive? <laughs> well, Chris just had a nicer snook. He don't have any more. This is why you get the autopilot. Oh, that sucks, Chris. Now we both lost monster fish today. Oh my God, that was a 30 inch snook. Here's our friend. Gonna let this baby go. All right, baby, appreciate the fight. You can let go whenever you want. You're home free. Night night. See you next time. Big dog. Alright, so I'm gonna try to make a good cast. The cast is key. When this water is really high, you gotta try to get it up in there. I retighten my drag. That's another snook. That is another snook, guys. Right when I tossed it in there. Another snook. Yes. Might be bigger than the one I just caught. 
Oh yes, that's all. Get out of there. Guys, flipping healthy fish. Watch, he's gonna get a hookup and, and karma. This is karma for him. Holy smokes. Another nice fish, guys. Oh no, you're the one. There we go. All right. I appreciate the, the love, buddy. Oh, he's swimming off. Oh, what the heck? Guys, I think something just picked my head up. Sometimes we get anxious and we don't want, we take the bait from him. Luckily he didn't feel any hooks. I'm on, I'm on. That's a redfish. That is a nice redfish, too, boys. Oh, big one. Oh, oh. Oh. oh, he's huge. 30 plus inch fish. 30 plus inch fish. So big, guys. Holy. That's the one I was after. Whew. My red, my lady fish is all the way up my line here. Oh, he's, he's definitely 30. He's definitely 30. He's a monster. A monster chasing him around. That's what we're looking for, guys. I don't think y'all can appreciate this. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a monster. Gosh. Guys, you got a fish? Chris is hooked up. Came off. Guys, I gotta admit, that's what it's all about. Big fish. And uh, it was pretty amazing to see that red fish and feel that redfish pop on that, that cut bait. So, like I said, I transitioned out here in the open. As this tide starts to flush out, the fish, the redfish that are back here in the mangroves real deep, they'll start to come out and spread out and they'll move with the stages of the water. And I'm just gonna dead stick because these fish get pressured a whole lot. I'm just gonna dead stick this redfish right in these potholes and keep my fingers crossed. We may catch another kitty or two, but hopefully we'll get another big old gold bar like the one we just let go. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I sure had a good time. So we did some things. We primarily did the cut lady fish like we talked about. We fished that top of the tide. Really got out here a little late. Uh, I like to fish that hour uh, before high tide, up to high tide, and then the hour after the change. I always have really good success. Uh, you know during those times but overall we had a really good time chris did break my kayak he broke the the uh rudder knob off my 120 pedal today i've only let him use it three times guys i swear he's so destructive matter of fact look he's in there probably weeping because he has to buy me a new one but anyhow 
I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Had a lot of fun. If you want to see something similar to that, uh, let me know. Comment below. And for all you guys that have been asking about cut uh, bait or ladyfish on my Instagram and uh, Facebook, I hope this answers a few of your questions. Hey, until next time, guys, I'll see you on the water.